in the Loop Show. Step one, get excited. Step two, feature a large comical prop. Step three, say the catchphrase. Hang on for, for the loop. loop. Four, three, two, one. I'm Ricky. I'm Jamie. And here on The Loop Show, we like to offer solutions. When you see a problem, see if you can fix it. That's just one way we like to make a difference. Ricky, what kind of problem solver are you? Do you like to jump right in or do you like there to be a perfect plan? My instinct always tells me to just jump right on in. How about you? So it depends on the situation. If it's like somebody needs to go to the emergency room, I will jump right in. But if it's something more complex, then I like to take it slower. Well, that is why you're my emergency contact, Jamie. Exactly. We all have a role to play in God's good plan to change the world. But what are the first steps in changing the world? There is a book in the Bible called Nehemiah, and it's a good example of what it looks like to make a plan to partner with God. Let's hear more from Nehemiah. I am Nehemiah, and I want to tell you about a big day in my life. The day I brought a problem to the one person you shouldn't bother with problems. Before I tell you what happened, you need to know that I had been praying big prayers for months that God would help me rebuild the city of Jerusalem. It was my purpose, and I knew I couldn't do it on my own. I needed help from the king. But my job was to ease the king's burdens, not to add to them. You don't just walk up to the most powerful person in your town and say, I need this, this, and this. I was worried. I knew the people of Jerusalem needed security. My heart was heavier than my fears of speaking up, and God was on my side. I went to the king, and right away, he could see I was sad. With all my courage and prayers, I told him what I had been telling God. The people of Jerusalem needed protection. And guess what he said? He said, get out! Got you. <laughs> Just kidding. You know what he really said? He looked at me and said, how can I help? Can you imagine how I felt? He gave me hope. I told him my simple plan. I needed his permission and materials. I needed wood for new walls. And I made sure to give God all the credit for my plan. The king not only said yes, but he also gave me some people to help me do the good work. There was so much work to be done to rebuild the city, but I didn't give up. I was seeking God. I had a clear vision. I didn't make plans perfectly, but I made plans carefully. To do the good work, I moved forward with God's good guidance, step by step. Just like Nehemiah needed the king's help, our big plans need help too. You gotta go step by step. Ooh, Ooh. hello, Mr. Hand. <laughs> to solve a problem, you need a plan. Who can name that problem based on the fewest amount of steps. Oh. So for each round, we'll give you a clue for a small problem we found on WikiHow. Bid the lowest number of steps you think you can name it in. The ultimate problem solver will win the safety helmet. Let's get started. Let's do it. Designed to work in rough conditions, following these steps could maintain these things that have been around since the 1800s. I can name that problem in five hints. Please. Four steps. Name that problem. Step one. Spray with silicone spray. Hmm. That could be a lot, that, a lot of things. Um, problem unclear. I mean, I think I've, I've got a pretty good idea already. I'm <laughs> just joking. Scrub oh. with a toothbrush, ooh. Okay, it's been around since the 1800s. Toothbrushes have been around since hopefully longer. So you said five? I said five okay. and you said four, so you right. got two more. Never dry in front of a fire. These things are not. They don't seem to be related. Okay. <laughs> okay, your last Final clue. Final one. Use a conditioner. Ah, I said I would guess within four steps. So my guess is how to style your hair. Final answer. All right, I get one more step. All right, Jamie. Come on, be helpful. Oh, 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 oh. Um, uh, it's like how to, how to clean riding boots. Let's take a look. Oh, oh 
Ooh, to take care of cowboy boots. Very, very close. Very nice. Riding. That's very cool. good, Jamie. Very good. Okay. <laughs> I thought for a second, tap shoes, but no. All right, on to the next one. When you're on the move, following these steps will help protect your time. Ooh. I can answer in three, two steps. Show me that problem. Go. Take out glass. Take okay. out glass. Take out glass. I have bitten off more than I could chew. This is your last clue. This is my last clue. Uh, tape the cables together. What's the question? Can I hear that clue just one more time? When you're on the move, following these steps will help protect your time. Okay. How to fix a clock. Oh, no! Jamie, this is your clue. Okay, you this ready? is my clue. Your last clue. My last clue. You ready? Yes. Label and remove weights. Label and remove weights. That would not have helped me at all. Label and remove weights. Huh. I was thinking, making sure that your flux capacitor was working so you could do time travel. How to use a time machine. How to use a time machine. Oh, I got a thumbs down. Okay, on to the next clue. Okay. Remove pendulum. Oh, okay. How to move a grandfather clock. Final answer. Ah! Wow. Goodness. So I grew up with a grandfather clock and I forgot Aww. that they have little weights in the side to help uh, the little mechanisms yes. move. Okay, let's see what the last step was. Okay. Wrapping blanket. Oh. Yeah, you, you, you want it to Makes feel sense. cozy. Moving a grandfather clock can startle the clock. So you gotta wrap them up in blankets so that yeah. the clock doesn't get scared. Let's talk about purpose. Now, where do you even begin to talk about purpose? It can be so scary to talk about sometimes. Well, the Bible tells us that your purpose starts within your heart. Jesus says that our purpose on this earth is to love God and to love others. Let's look at Nehemiah for a second. Nehemiah saw a need. He sought the Lord and prayed. And then after feeling that it was God's plan, went to the king and boldly asked for his permission and his resources. Once he got both from the king, he then was able to look in front of him and see what work needed to be done. Philippians 2.13 says, God is working in you. He wants your plans and your acts to fulfill his good purpose. Now we're looking at Nehemiah to note the order in which he goes about his plan. In his plan, it goes what first, how second, and work third. Nehemiah's purpose, or his what, was to follow God and show love to his community. His plan, or his how, was to rebuild the protection of the city with the permission and resources of the king. Nehemiah then sizes up what needs to be done, shares his dreams with others, and is able to begin this good work. Because Nehemiah does it in this order, he has confidence that he's doing what God is calling him to do. He's not overwhelmed by the task in front of him. He sets his heart, or his purpose, on making others feel safe. He faithfully took his time and checked in with God step by step. Now, the plan might change here and there, but the purpose always remained the same, loving God and loving others. Just like Nehemiah, you can also take these steps when it comes to a new task. It doesn't have to be overwhelming, as long as you make sure the purpose aligns with our purpose on earth. Now, the plan doesn't have to be perfect, and you don't have to take on all the world's problems. When you set out to make a difference, check in with God step by step and He will be right beside you. Final round! Without a social group, following these steps will help solo companion. I can do it in four steps. Name that problem. Okay, provide ping pong balls. Oh. I mean, I have a guess already. Garden with them. Allow access to the house. Garden with them. Huh. Monitor, oh, yeah, 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 I got it. What's your guess, Jamie? My guess is 
how to become friends with old people. <laughs> Very close though, yeah. Can't, can't be close. That can't yeah, the be. next step is gonna be make peanut brittle. <laughs>
He is always right beside you. And if you need more guidance on how to put your love in action, we've got some videos on our channel that can help. If you want to change the world, ask God for a plan that helps others. And think about all the places he might lead you. God is working in you to do big things, Loopsters. Don't forget to enjoy, enjoy the ride. How scary. Where'd they come from? Ah. Ah! <laughs>